38 years old man presenting to our hospital ER with sudden onset of severe pain, weakness, and hypostasia of both legs. His medical history was unremarkable, but five months earlier, he suffered from serious community-acquired pneumonia. Now on examination, we found cyanosis in toes one and five and his left foot, and arterial pulses were detected in the groin, but not in the popliteal fossa of both legs. CT angiography showed filling defects on the right kidney and spleen, suggesting infarcts, and obstruction of the left femoral artery and right popliteal artery. Trombi were extracted successfully from these arteries and blood restoration was restored. Chest CT angiography also showed large masses on the cusps of the aortic valve and transesophageal echocardiography found bicuspic aortic valve with masses attached to the aortic and ventricular surface of the valves. CRP concentration was elevated as well as test for anticardiolipin and anti-beta-2 glycoprotein 1 antibodies that were highly elevated. Blood cultures were negative. At operation to replace the aortic valve, large vegetations were found over the left anteroposterior commissure with destruction of the left aspect of both leaflets. Cultures of these vegetations were sterile, but PCR was positive for Coxiella bornetti, as well as serology for phase 2 and phase 1 antibodies, respectively. Acute Q fever can be complicated by antiphospholipid syndrome, leading to infective endocarditis with large vegetations and multiple emboli. Thromboembolic events following a pneumonia should prompt investigation for antiphospholipid syndrome, a finding which mandate testing for C. bornetti, for coxella bornetti, and undertaking echocardiographic studies.